Good evening everybody and a very warm welcome to our service for all souls from the parishes of Balbra and Clown. Ordinarily of course in normal times we would be gathered together at Clown Church for this service and we would have had a service at Balbra as well on Sunday evening and of course because of the current situation we weren't able to gather physically together but we are here this evening together in spirit. You may like to find for yourself somewhere at home um, a candle to come and light during the service. You might be able to get your hands on one if you're if you're like me, I've always got a candle on the go somewhere. Um, so I've got my candle here, which I've already lit. But if you would like to find one um, or a tea light, something like that, um, and then you can uh, light it a little bit later in the service, just as if, just as we do normally at the All Souls service, everyone comes to light their own candle. Um, so there'll be an opportunity in the service to do that at home. Hopefully you can all hear me okay. Um, many of you have sent me the names of loved ones to be read out during this service. I've got a very long list of names to read out of all lots of precious people. Um, if you haven't sent me a name and you would like me to read one out, you can put a name in the comments if you're watching this live on Facebook. Uh, feel free to just write their name down or you might just want to say the names out loud yourself at home. But I will do my best to include all the names. Okay, so I think we're ready. Hopefully you might have been able to find a candle and some matches and we will begin our service. And if you would like to join in, the words will come up on the screen next to me here um, and you can join in at home with the words in yellow. Okay, right, I'm just checking on online to see if anyone's uh, comment no one's commented anything so it's just double checking I'm watching it on my phone at the same time as delivering it here but I think we're ready to begin our service now in the name of Christ who died and was raised by the glory of God the Father we welcome you grace mercy and peace be with you all we gather in different locations, but together in spirit this day to remember and give thanks for those who have known and loved and who have now died. With each other for support, we offer our memories, we name our hopes and we gather to pray for ourselves and for them. So some opening responses, if you could join in with the words in yellow at home. Though we feel adrift, God will not let go. Though we see no light, God's light always shines. Though we feel quite lost, God will show the way. Though we feel despair, God's hope is still there. When quite overwhelmed, God's love will bring healing and peace. Psalm 107 Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the mighty waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven. They went down to the depths. Their courage melted away in their calamity. They reeled and staggered like drunkards and were at their wit's end. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he brought them out from their distress. He made the storm be still and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then were they glad, because they had quiet, and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind. Let them extol him in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders.
So now we have a response to the words of that psalm. Again, if you would join in with the words in yellow. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depths. In their peril, their courage melted away. Our journey of grief so often goes from highs to lows. We pray that our courage will not melt away when we find the going hard and that we will grow in hope when the moments feel a little easier. They reeled, they cried out to the Lord in their troubles and he brought them out of their distress. Lord, when we are full of troubles and distress, we pray that we will turn to you to guide us from darkness to light. He stilled the storm to a whisper. The waves of the sea were hushed. Lord, we pray our journey of uncertainties will be stilled and we will find a place to rest. Be still and find your peace. Amen. A reading from Holy Scripture, Mark's Gospel. On that day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in the boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great gale arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion. And they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we're perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? I'm delighted to be able to introduce the next video. Uh, we've got a couple of talented young people in our congregation at Balborough. That's Thomas and Sarah Morton. And they've um, very kindly recorded a chant that we often sing at Clown Church called Calm Me Lord As You Calm The Storm. It's just going to be an instrumental, but if you do know the chant, you might like to sing along at home. The words will come up on the screen. It's a soothing piece of music.
also my thanks to Tom and Sarah for making that recording for us. I wonder if you've got good sea legs. A few years ago, I went to Provincetown in Massachusetts for my brother's wedding. We flew to Boston and then got a catamaran to Provincetown. Our journey home was eventful. It was stormy conditions. But I've always loved boats and being on the sea. The journey home to me was like a brilliant ride at Alton Towers as we surfed big waves. I even got gently guided back to my seat after I tried to go out on deck to feel the spray on my face. The experience was not fun at all, however, for my husband. He sat green-faced with his head in his hands for the entire journey, only getting up to buy a ginger lolly at the bar that was supposed to ward off seasickness. He got through three lollies in all on that trip. A journey across the sea that to me was great fun was one of the worst hours of Paul's life. When we lose someone, one of the hardest things are the months after the funeral. When all the legal things are sorted out, everything has been done and you are left with your grief. Your friends gave you support at the time, came along to the funeral, but of course have eventually returned to their lives. They're enjoying life, as if it's a big ride at Alton Towers, and you're feeling like my husband Paul did on that boat, head in hands, full of nausea. Grief affects all of us differently. That's why I chose today to have a theme in our service of the sea and the waves as I think it is a really helpful metaphor for talking about grief. One day everything is still and calm and you just about feel yourself and then suddenly, out of nowhere, a big wave comes crashing over and you hit rock bottom again. The people who wrote the Psalms in our Bible knew all about this. So we heard that powerful reading from Psalm 107 that says, their courage melted away in their calamity. Then we heard that reading from Mark's Gospel, the story of the calming of the storm. I like Mark's version of this story, as it is really honest. The disciples, when they realise Jesus is asleep while they're frantically trying to bail out the boat, say to him, do you not care that we're about to drown? And shake him roughly awake. It is okay for us to shout the same to God, for us to say to him, don't you care? The answer, of course, is that Jesus is with us in the boat all the time. Sometimes it feels like he's asleep, that we are speaking into thin air when we pray for help. But Jesus came to be with us forever, by our side, our constant companion, and he knows what grief feels like. The shortest sentence in the Bible is Jesus wept. When did he cry? When he found out that one of his best friends had died. As Christians, we believe that death isn't the end. Because Jesus died and rose again, we will rise with him into a new amazing life we can barely imagine. All our loved ones we are remembering tonight are safe with him. So we might be feeling like we're in the middle of a storm or in the doldrums where there is no movement at all or feeling somewhat calm but empty. The thing to remember is that Jesus said to us, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. I'm going to read a short piece now called The Sea and the Beach by Tessa Wilkinson. The sea seems to illustrate pain and sorrow so well. It comes in and goes out. For a while it is there, overwhelming, covering everything. Then slowly the tide turns and it withdraws. For a while 
we can see the beauty of the shells, the seaweed. We can rejoice in the patterns in the sand. We can feel the corrugated ripples under our feet, alive to what is around and beyond. But then the tide turns and again it is all washed away, all overwhelmed. We feel like the crashing of the waves on rocks, raw and out of control, full of anger and rage, battered and bruised, tossed about like flotsam floating wherever we are thrown. There are so many questions. Why now? Why him? Why her? But no answers. Then the sea calms and gently the waves lap the rocks. We are soothed and the inner turmoil is calmed. In time we can learn to move up the beach as the tide comes in, out of its reach, not to be overwhelmed. The pain is still there, but in control. We can recognise the pain, revisiting the sadness, acknowledging how much the person is missed. We learn to turn away and look to the future, knowing the person will always be part of us, always loved and always remembered. So now is the moment that you can try and find a candle to light, or you may have already lit one ready for this service. But you may like to use the next couple of minutes to find a candle to light. And if you would like to join in with the words in yellow. Blessed are you, Lord our God, lover of souls. You uphold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise for ever. For as the darkness of this age is passing away, as Christ the bright morning star brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom your faithful servants that death may be for them the gate of life and to unending fellowship with you where with your saints you live and reign one in the perfect union of love now and for ever amen so now we come to the remembrance of the departed. I do have quite a, a large number of names to read out, but every single one of these names is a known and precious person. So do bear with us as we read through the names and remember each one of them. Lord, we give you thanks for those we remember before you now, for all that they gave and received the experiences we shared with them. Continue, we pray, to hold them in your eternal embrace. Gwyneth Speed, Harry Smith, Ronald Bond, Jean Valerie Wesley, June Marshall, Mary Wardle Bristow, Lee Smithurst, Charlotte Milner, Audrey Winifred Freer, Joseph Robert Barlow, Hayden Barlow, Mavis Johns, Alice Metcalf, Sheila Dixon, Iris Pettit, Margaret Elizabeth Wilders, Edith Lillian Smith, Ruth Smith, Francis William Richards, Pearl Klimzak, Irene Smith, David Wormsley Horton, John Lindley, 
Maurice Ambler Vincent Roy Moody John Ellis Wybrow Ruth Wybrow William and Ethel Dickinson Reverend David Hull Michael Tewkesbury Baby Walter Kit Lockwood Peter White Andrew White Carol Bartley Enos Bartley Iris Bartley Gillian Proctor Dorothy Leadbeater Beatrice Atkinson Jackie Burns Philip Cresswick Irene May German Edith Miller James Miller Mary Blackwell Robert Blackwell Lorna Riley Jesse Wade Gordon Goodwin Sally Haddon Bill Betts Doris and Fred Stamper Arthur and Nora Newton Etty Stockdale Howard Stockdale Arthur and Annie Braddo Sydney and Lillian Wignall Carol Clark Edith Annie Hindley John Albert Hindley Frank Hindley Denise Cunningham Phoebe Webb Lydia Gladwin Geoffrey Ainsworth Kitty Ainsworth John Jeffries Stuart Wustenholm Neville Sturman Audrey Ainsworth Geoffrey Fletcher Alan Godbert Ron Hazelhurst Marina Fairburn Woods Brenda Norman Ethel and Arthur Smith Michael Smith Dennis Malpass Sydney and Mary Emerton Frank Butler Joan Bradley Andre Bradley Christopher Beale Margaret and Jeff Wright Ivy and Jim Waller Joan Lacey Marilyn Jackson Libby Hadfield Clara Davison George Richard Davidson Olive Malpass James William Malpass Doris Nicholl Harold Nicholl John Quinn Esme and Frank Straw Joseph Doolan Norman Charles Doolan Sorry, Norman Charles Rom Jack Flowers Kate Flowers George and Lucy Lemons Philip and Marjorie Morton Sheila Street Beatrice Towner Harry Towner Charles Towner Christopher Towner Paul Towner Philip Towner Leslie Epes Wetherill Rita Wetherill Annie Wetherill Anne Folks Wilfred Mosley Ivy Mosley David Booth David Eller George Correa Christine Hall Bernard Hall Robert Butler Tony Taylor Kate Taylor Barry Jones Audrey Florence Wilkinson Adrian Wilkinson Linda and Roy Smith May Wilkinson Malcolm Coleman Jane and David Stothard Andrew and Danny Anthony Tobin Brenda Burton Patricia Robotham Chaplin Mary Flack Keith Blakemore Richard Staniforth Christopher Staniforth 
Annie Staniforth. Violet Cook, Herbert Cook, Reginald Cook, Thelma Cook. Laura Webb, Eric Webb, Bob Staniforth, Albert Staniforth, Courtney Staniforth, Robert Cochrane, Sidney Patrick, Daniel James Blakemore, Julie Hendry, Hilary Wapplington, Christopher Room, Thomas Jones, Gladys Jones, Percival Room, Grace Hendry, Natalie Lockyear, D. Carmichael. You may like to say the names of anyone I've not mentioned but we remember that each one of those names is known so well to God. So now we come to a time of prayer. Grant us grace to entrust all these souls to your never failing love which sustains them in this life. Enfold them in the arms of your mercy and remember them according to the favour you bear for your people. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Grant to us who are still in our pilgrimage and who walk as yet by faith that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all our days. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May we have strength to meet the days ahead in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those we love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And so trusting in the promises of God, we say together the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And now together we need this more than ever to affirm our trust and hope. So we say together, we trust that beyond absence there is presence, that beyond the pain there can be healing, that beyond the brokenness there can be wholeness, that beyond the anger there may be peace, that beyond the hurting there may be forgiveness, that beyond the silence there may be the word, that beyond the word there may be understanding, that through understanding there is love. And so you may like to bow your heads to receive God's blessing. Deep peace of the running wave to you. Deep peace of the flowing air to you. Deep peace of the quiet earth to you. Deep peace of the shining stars to you. Deep peace of the gentle night to you. Moon and stars pour their healing light on you. Deep peace of Christ of Christ the light of the world to you and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you both the living and departed, now and always. Amen. My
I wrote this before we knew we were going to be locked down, but you've got one more day to go out into the world. <laughs> so let us go out into the world, blessed by this time together. Let us each know God's love with us. Thank you so much for joining me this evening, uh, joining me to remember all of those people precious to us and very precious to God. As we're going to be locked down in November, all our services will continue online in this manner. Um, so you might like to join us on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock. There will be a service each Sunday through November. And as we come up to Christmas, in the weeks running up to Christmas, we will be doing a Light of Life service, which is our Christmas memorial service. Some of you will have been along to that one before. And that's also a service where we read out names of loved ones and we dedicate lights on the church Christmas trees to loved ones. That will be online as well. So do look out for that service and let me know if you would like to dedicate a light on our Christmas tree. Have a blessed evening. <laughs>